Good morning. Listen to Jesus in Matthew 6, 28 through 30, as he gives a second illustration. The first one was birds of the air and how they're provided for, but he gives a second one. I want to key in on his last um, phrase, his last sentence, or phrase at the end of the sentence here. And why are you anxious about clothing? Jesus asks. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. They are working. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. How beautiful God has made the natural world. Verse 30. But if God so clothes the grass of the so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O you of little faith. O you of little faith. Literally, you little faiths. You little faiths. This is kind of like a um, he, he uses it five times. It, it may even, like, it looks like it might be a phrase coined by Jesus. Matthew 8, 26, Matthew 14, 31, Matthew 16, 8, Luke 12, 28. There, there's this phrase used again and again. This is maybe a, a, almost like an affectionate way that Jesus sort of exposes something about them. Hey, you, you little faiths, you feel like that ever? And I do. A little faith, a little faith. See, here's something I get from this last phrase that is so enlivening to me. I want to be a man of faith, right? Without faith, it's impossible to please God, Hebrews 11. I want to trust God, but sometimes I don't in the way that I should. And here's what I learn from these verses. God clothes little faiths. God feeds little faiths. God provides for little faiths. That means that God's provision is not waiting in his storehouse for you to exercise faith and then access it. There's prosperity teachers, there's faith healers and preachers that will tell you that it all depends upon your faith. No, no. God gives, and he gives to little faiths. So I want to encourage you. You might feel like you don't have a big faith right now. Grow to trust God more. I don't want to say settle for that. That's not the point. But what I do want to say to you is God's blessing isn't hinged on your faith. It's for little faiths. Take heart in that today.